Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. At isa ng thoughts ng mo upay ng adlaw ha iyo nga tanan. This is your at isa ng an iyo malibot nga sangkat. And yes, the activities of the 72nd edition of the Miss Universe pageant is heating up El Salvador and the Salvadoran public is witnessing the hype first hand. On day 6 of the competition, the delegates participated in many activities including the meet and greet at the Multi Plaza Mall and the welcome event dinner hosted by the uh, Tourism Ministry of the Salvadoran Government. And all the girls gave us an eye candy of glitz and glamour that left us pageant lovers and enthusiasts enthralled and breathless so yeah in this video i will be giving you my top 15 standout during said event before that though let me first take this opportunity to acknowledge the top two new subscribers of the channel since the publishing of the last video no guys that your support is greatly appreciated and to all the channel subscribers damo damo masalamat ha iyong atanan now Here's my intro and let's get it on. Alright, before we get on with my favorite list, let me first quickly mention the five runners up. Miss Netherlands, Miss Mexico, Miss Colombia, Miss Dominican Republic, and Miss Brazil. Now on the main list at number 15, I have Miss Australia, Mariah Wilson. Class in black. This is how I would describe Miss Australia in the sheer black gown with intricate beads details that has this cascading effect on the bodice and the skirt. And the silver purse she has in her hand is a good idea to give contrast to the color of the dress, giving her styling exude with simplicity but yet appealing. This styling of Mariah Wilson is actually a classic example of the phrase, you can never go wrong in black. And what I love most about her look is that striking shoulder blades of her, it made her really stand out. So, that's my number 15, Miss Australia. At number 14, I have Miss Cameroon, AC Princess. Miss Cameroon just looked so stunning in this cattle illusion gown in yellow and silver beads with intricate details. I love her earrings, it accentuated to the overall beauty of the dress. Her barely there makeup is on point, which only highlighted with a slightly dark eyeshadow enough to make her look strikingly fierce. Her styling is almost flawless, had it not for the handbag, although I think it's negligible. So, at number 14, I have Miss Cameroon. 13th on my list, I have Miss Honduras, Zuhelene Clemente. Miss Honduras is just actually a sight to behold in this turtleneck cutout gown. She is perfectly styled, love the hair as well as with the makeup, and with that seemingly shy smile of hers, just made her very mesmerizing. So that's number 13, Miss Honduras. At number 12, I have Miss India, Shweta Sharda. Shweta is just looking very striking in this salmon colored gown with intricate beadworks. Her hair styling is spot on in those big curls, although I would have loved it more if she doesn't cover her shoulder blades as she looked more stunning that way. Her makeup is also perfect. I am loving her parted pouty lips in pink lipstick. At number 11, I have Miss Bolivia, Maria Stefani Rivero. Miss Bolivia just looked playfully glamorous in the sheer black gown with white intricate beadings. Love the uh, black earrings, it worked to highlight her beautiful face, making her even more stunning. So that's Miss Bolivia at number 11. Now, on with my top 10 and First in the list of my top 10, at 10th place, I have Miss Laos, Papao Fai Mani. Striding in style, this is how I would describe Miss Laos in this photo. 
She just really looks uh, stylishly glamorous in that carat gown with symmetrical sleeves. And I would say one does not need to wear beads and glitters to stand out. With this styling, she really is captivating. I love her makeup. It emphasizes her oriental features, making her more striking. At number 9, I have Miss South Africa, Brioni Covender. Hypnotically glamorous. This is how I would describe Brioni in this dress with overskirt. Really classy. Makeup on point perfect hairstyle i most love the color of the dress though the baby blue the color made an outstanding contrast to her skin making her shine brighter and the intricate pattern in the details in the bodice of the dress gives a little drama to her that gives her the hypnotic aura at number eight i have miss ecuador the larry stoffer's Villion. stunningly classy this is how I would describe Miss Ecuador in this violet silk couture gown that she's wearing. And actually, I miss ko ang mga ganitong gowns sa mga beauty pageants. Cla classic and classy. Wari po kayo nagsawa na ako sa dami at palagi na lang ang paggamit ng mga gowns na puno ng beads at rhinestones. Back to Miss Bolivia. For me, she really stood out in this gown she's wearing. The color complements her skin tone and really highlighted her beautiful face. Love her makeup, it's on point, although I think the dangling earrings is too much. I wish she had just worn a white pearl or something that would have complemented the classic looking gown she's wearing, but overall, I'm still loving her. At number 7, I have Miss Indonesia, Vivienne Nicole. Miss Indonesia is looking like a breath of fresh air in this Sabrina neckline green gown with high slit and elaborate prints and beads details. The green color of the gown gives a good contrast to her fair skin and, and also there are many things going on with the details of the gown it did not take away the focus from her beautiful face it instead highlighted her beautiful face and made her guy so charmingly stunning with that sweet smile she wears at number six i have miss thailand antonia Porcel. elegance this is the first word that drifted into my mind upon seeing this picture of antonia the cut of the gown is simple but it was made striking with a good contrast of green fabric and the gold beads and crystal detail intricate design. And what I love most about this gown is that they accentuated the Thai culture into it. Her makeup is on point, over style is also on point. However, if I, if I have to be picky about it, I would change the earrings. I think masyado siyang malaki at nangaagaw ito ng pansin mula sa magandang mukha ni Antonia. Masasayang ang magandang mukha ni Antonia dahil napupunta yung pansin doon sa malaking earrings. Now on with my top 5 favorites. On the 5th place, I have our very own Miss Philippines, Michelle Marquez D. If I were to describe this look of Michelle, I would say exquisitely classy. And really, Michelle is another testament that you cannot go wrong with a classy black silk dress. That gold ornament on the chest, although I am not sure if it's part of the design of the dress or a neck piece, works to accentuate the whole dress as well as her beautiful face. And I love how this look is put together. The makeup is on point, the hair is on point, the earrings on point, the dress on point, and Michelle herself is on point. And they're very, very well put together. Simply exquisite and classy. So, that's our very own Miss Philippines, Michelle Marquez D. On the fifth place. At number four, I have Miss Nicaragua, Shanice Palacio. Miss Nicaragua is looking really stunning and elegant in this tangerine couture gown with elaborate neckline. Love her makeup, love her hairstyle, and I'm also loving the earrings. The overall style is perfect, especially the nude color purse. 
that gives contrast to the tangerine color to highlight her silky fair skin. And what I'm loving most is her protruding shoulder blades that seem to have been carved by a big sculpture. And the third spot goes to Miss Puerto Rico, Carla Gilfo. Modern glamour. This is how I would describe Miss Puerto Rico in this orange sheer illusion gown with intricate beads, sequins, and crystal works. I love the high bun of her hair. It made her look even more taller and statuesque. Love the makeup. And I also love that she's not wearing any accent on her arms. Overall styling is perfect and I'm so loving it. So that's Miss Puerto Rico, Carla Gilfo at number 3. Now, on the second place, the first runner-up, I have Miss Cambodia, Chan Satima. Sheer elegance. This is what I would call Miss Cambodia's overall styling in this sheer silver mesh gown that she's wearing with intricate beads and sequins and crystal details. She looks really exquisite and stunning. To me, she looks like the Asian version of the Greek goddess Aphrodite that come to life, ready to make all men fall for her. Charot. And the top spot goes to my number one favorite during the 72nd edition of the Miss Universe Pageant Welcome Gala event. I have Miss Guyana Lisa Marie. I actually can't figure out what's the color of, the sh of this sheer gown that Miss Guyana is wearing, whether it's blue, silver, or light purple. That's it though, I'm still loving it and she looks playfully elegant and classy in it. I love the elaborate patterns of sequins and beads and crystals in it, especially that huge flower on the neckline. It works to highlight more of her beauty. I love her makeup just enough to give her a sultry look and I'm also loving that her hair is pulled back in a uh, ponytail Mas na ipakita ang taglay niyang ganda. Overall, I think her style is perfect. But if I am to nitpick though, I think the earrings are too big, especially with that already huge of a flower ornate on her neckline. At kung ako ang magdi-decide, papalitan ko siya ng similar to that of MMT. Despite that though, I'm still loving her overall aura. And that's why she's my number one favorite. So that's Miss Kayana at number one spot. And there it is, guys, my 15th standout during the welcome gala and dinner of the 72nd edition of the Miss Universe pageant. What can you say about this list? Is your favorite one of mine? Share your thoughts in the comment section below, okay? And as it is, the time has now come to bid you guys farewell. Please give the video a like so this gets recommended by YouTube. Also, share this if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This has been your Atisana and see you on next video. Ciao!